Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and uh, today we will talk about one of the probably the uh, worst thing that can happen for most new users of Windows 8. Um, how do you know if your devices are going to work in Windows 8? That's the biggest problem and a lot of the time when you buy a new computer we rarely buy new stuff with it. Most of the time people just, you know, change computer because the old ones died or it's just too old and they're, you know, thinking, well, it's time to change uh, for something new. And um, the major problem is that what you have at home might have several years. So you might have that six or seven year old or ten year old printer. You might have that seven or eight or ten year old device like a webcam or whatever. Um, the main problem in Windows is the fact that drivers for new devices are there because most of the time the manufacturer of that device took the time to write a new driver. Uh, one of the probably the biggest um, complaints of Windows users to Microsoft is hey bought that new computer my printer doesn't work. The problem is that most of the time it's not the fault of Microsoft but the fault of the um, the company that makes the device they need to do a new driver to make sure that it's going to work on your computer. And the problem is that sometimes companies, and not just sometimes, very often, companies are just going to say, hey, that's a $60 printer. You've had it for five years. It's time for you to buy a new one. And that's really unfortunate because there should be I think there should be a minimum time for all companies to actually support their devices, uh, whatever the price that you pay. I understand that a $40 printer is not interesting, uh, especially because they have to put that tech guy, that programmer, do a um, driver for something that's not on sale anymore, that people can't buy anymore. So it's not interesting. and. Um, Unfortunately, that happens a little too often. So, how do you know if a device is available for Windows 8 for install? Just check on your device what is the device in question. For example, we'll go into the Google here, the Google page. I have an HP uh, printer, okay? And my HP printer is a P1505 printer. That's a small laser printer. So I do P1505 and show you what it looks like. So this is the little printer I have. It looks like this. You need uh, to check with the manufacturer. So I know it's an HP printer. So what I want to do is actually go down, click hp.ca or search for Google for the HP, you know, HP company. And once you are on the HP page, we'll go here at the top. You no, know, let's go. Is there any HP page? Yeah, here we've got HP LaserJet right there. So here's a computer, the, the printer of sort. Most of the time, you'll have um, support. On the top, you see support and drivers. I'll click there. And then we'll enter in the little search box, a laser, laser jet P1505. And see what brings out. And so, um, here it didn't do anything, so I'll go back and we'll actually drivers and software. Okay, 
laser jet. So um, be as precise as possible. P1505 with your model. And it's going to search for some information. And here you see that it selects the uh, operating system. If not, you need to know what operating system you're using. So here I have a Windows 8 64 bits. I'll click on that and I'll go to next. And so here we've got driver and um, product installation. So here it says version not available, product supported soon in Windows 8. So in my case it's sad to see that no drivers are yet available but it's interesting because they don't say that there won't be any drivers they just say it's coming soon so I'll just wait and hope that it's true and it's gonna work but you might have a case where it says well no there's no drivers available and that's not gonna work you might also find that in the list of operating systems your operating system is not listed does that mean that the product is not available or not working not always but very often yeah uh, drivers are very finicky are very very complex little programs they um, rarely work in different windows of uh, versions of windows but you can still try it and you can still click if you don't have a Windows 8 for example I would probably try the Windows 7 driver and see if it works there's a chance that it might there's a chance that it might not the problem with Windows 8 especially is the fact that it's a different and a new Windows core so it's sufficiently different from other versions of Windows that most of the time those drivers won't work. But in older versions of Windows, for example, Vista and Windows 7 share the same core. So it happened that Windows Vista drivers could work in Windows 7. Not all the time, but very often they did. So you can try that. Keep in mind that if you install another version of Windows driver to try out, it can crash windows so you got to be really really careful about that uh, so these are things you can try for if there's no drivers uh, basically it pretty much means it doesn't work most of the time and you got to be careful with one thing is that if your printer or the piece of soft hardware sorry that you're trying to use is more than five years old you have almost no guarantee that it's gonna work in Windows so um, be careful with that and yep unfortunately you might have to change that old printer um, a lot of people complain because the fact that very often those printers still work um, like here if my printer didn't have a driver well it still works very well and I don't understand, like a lot of people, I just don't understand why I should part from my printer. It's really unfortunate. So, um, unfortunately, that happens. And it often goes with the price. I've noticed that uh, more expensive hardware tend to be supported longer. So, an example is a $500 laser printer from five or six years ago. Um, as a good chance of having a driver while a $40 printer of five or six years ago probably will not have any drivers for Windows uh, 8 so um, gives you also an idea but it's not a guarantee I've seen thousand dollar printers have no drivers for new versions of Windows so uh, hey whatever the hardware is the first thing you should do find out who is the manufacturer google it and then look for a model number of some sort on uh, the uh, device itself and try to find drivers that's the best thing you can probably do
for old pieces of hardware. And if you have really that special uh, hardware that you need every day, doesn't work and it's just either something that's out of production or something that's so expensive that you just don't have uh, money to buy a new one. Well, look for uh, an old computer. Maybe look around your friends. Maybe someone has an old computer with an older version of Windows and you can uh, uh, use that instead. But um, it is unfortunate that there's not that much support for old devices in Windows. Um, so um, this was a um, quick little video explaining what to do with your old devices if uh, you can install or not, how to, how to know if they're going to work in Windows 8. Um, of course one of the first things that I didn't mention but just plug it in and see if Windows 8 has its own drivers. Uh, that can happen also on the devices like these. You just plug it in and look at uh, Windows if they uh, have a driver or not. So I uh, hope you enjoy these videos. If you have this new Windows 8 machine that you uh, use and you're a little lost, uh, click the subscribe button and you'll be informed when the videos are online. And also check all our videos. We have lots and lots of videos explaining how to do a lot of stuff on Windows 8. So you'll become an expert slowly by watching all these uh, quick little videos. And um, if you um, have a request of a feature you'd like to see a video on, let us know. And uh, we'll try to put that video online for you. And of course, if you have comments or questions, never hesitate. There are no stupid questions. So thanks for watching and hope you come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Bye-bye.